Oh, let the drama bells toll because Rob Lowe, Hollywood's eternal heartthrob, just threw a birthday bash that's got everyone's tongues wagging, but not for the reasons you might expect. Picture this, a star-studded soiree in sunny Santa Barbara, bursting at the seams with A-listers like Robert Downey Jr., fresh off his Oscars high, Zoe Saldana, the ever-hilarious Amy Poehler, Kevin Costner, and Jennifer Aniston, who probably needed a break from her own tabloid headlines. And let's not forget Gwyneth Paltrow, who graced the event with her presence alongside hubby Brad Falchuk. The guest list read like a who's who of Hollywood royalty, with power couples like Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom, Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi, Adam Levine and Bihati Prinsloo, and newly minted parents of two, Cameron Diaz and Benji Madden, all turning up to paint the town red in honor of Lowe's 60th. Amidst this glittering assembly of celebs, who do you think was conspicuously absent? None other than Meghan Markle and her plus one, Prince Harry. That's right, folks, the only neighbors not to make the cut for this exclusive shindig. While the elite of Tinseltown were popping champagne and celebrating in style, Meghan and Harry found themselves on the outs, relegated to attending a black art show in LA. Talk about a social snub of epic proportions. It's almost as if Meghan's been blacklisted, a persona non grata among the Santa Barbara elite. One has to wonder, is she trying too hard to be the influencer and tastemaker of the area, only to find out she's not as welcome as she thought? And Harry, oh Harry, when will you reclaim your dignity and stop being dragged around to events that clearly aren't your scene? It's downright pathetic. There they were, at a showcase celebrating the significant contributions of Stanley and Shirley Kinsey to black art, a topic Harry and Meghan have no authority to speak on. Honestly, they would have been better off keeping their mouths shut and learning a thing or two from those who actually know what they're talking about. But this is just par for the course with these two, isn't it? Whenever they're not on the guest list for the hottest ticket in town, they scurry off to find some other event to crash, desperately trying to stay relevant. Their failed attempt to mingle with Hollywood's philanthropic elite is a stark reminder of their outsider status. Not rich enough, not talented enough, just not enough. Even Katy Perry and Gwyneth Paltrow who've shown their loyalty to the true blue bloods of the royal family, seem to have drawn a line in the sand, leaving Meghan and Harry out in the cold. And let's not even start on the Kardashians. If Meghan thinks cozying up to, to Kim K and Kris Jenner is her ticket to regaining some semblance of relevance, she's got another thing coming. The backlash from Kim's recent faux pas should be a clear warning. Aligning with the Kardashians might get you media coverage, but it won't buy class or respect. In the end, Meghan and Harry's desperate attempts to hobnob with Hollywood's elite just go to show that some circles are simply beyond their grasp.